Hi, good morning. I am Dr. Christine Lee, Procrastination Coach. Today I want to talk about the big question, which is how do we bridge the gap between what we're planning on getting accomplished and what we're actually doing? There oftentimes can be this big chasm between our plans and our actions, our hopes, and what actually gets done. I got this idea for a topic from my wonderful membership members. I run a membership every weekend. It's called the Freedom from Procrastination Membership Program. And I asked the question to the members about what they wanted to learn. And this was the question that they came up with. So I thought I'd share some of the material that we discussed with you here. So I have three tips for you for how to get into action especially when you know what you want to get accomplished. The first tip is I want you to minimize your fear. Minimize the perceived risk that is around you. It's interesting, isn't it, how once we come up with a great idea or something that is beyond our comfort zone, all of the fears and doubts and catastrophic scenarios start to crop up in our brains. We tend to make those up. And so I want you to use that wonderful brain to kind of redo those stories and say, oh, when I thought that my advisor was going to criticize me, that was just a kind of an old pattern of mine. The advisor I have is actually quite reasonable, quite not prone to criticizing me. That was just me generating random anxiety. So let me minimize this risk. Let me spend half hour to a half hour today to get some words on a page and get something good to my advisor. So instead of thinking about all the bad things that can happen, instead of doing the worst case scenario, try to say, actually, there's no risk involved here. It's just a to-do list item. It's just something I want to get accomplished. So the first tip is minimize the perceived risk. The second tip that I have for you is to remember to always aim high. You've heard me say, think positive, think positive over and over again. But when I was talking to my members this past weekend about this concept of the gap between our plans and, and our actions, I described to them when a plane gets ready for takeoff, it does not point its nose downward. It, it aims high from the start. You don't travel like this and then aim high. Well, actually you do, but you get my message that you want to be aiming high and you have to have your head up, optimism there, and you don't want to be assuming that you're going to be crashing. So whenever you're moving yourself towards a goal, you want to be aiming forward and up and thinking positively and rooting for yourself. You want that energy to be supporting you, not just your brain, but your physical and emotional and spiritual energy. That is when your plans become action. So set that second tip was to always be aiming high, always be thinking in a forward moving way. The third and final tip is to develop perseverance. And by perseverance here, I mean taking action, take action every single day. Do not skip a day if you've got a big goal that you want. If you have something that you know is going to improve your life and your fun and maybe the situation of your family or community, you want these things to come to light. You don't want them just to stay in your planner being really boring words on a page. You want to see your life change. And in order to do that, you need to develop that activity, that action plan, that action habit. And so the third tip is a really important one. Develop that confidence and that behavior of being reliable to yourself in action. You want to see the move, the needle moving forward. That's what they say. Get that action, log it in, do it first thing in the morning. I would also suggest because then you don't have to think about it. Then you don't have to drag yourself down with that fear again because you've got these winds piling up instead of the fears. All right. So in summary, in order to bridge the gap between your plans and your action, you need to minimize your perceived risk. You need to aim high with your every step, with your every action, with your every hope and breath. You want to also keep at it, keep daily practice, do the things that you need to, to educate yourself, to lift yourself up, to keep yourself healthy and moving forward. I hope this all helped. I send you this message from my heart. I am Christine Lee, procrastination coach. 
And I wanna remind you about my free resource. If you don't have it yet, please grab it today. It's called the Free Resource Library. All you need to do to get it is text to the number 44222, the word free library, one word, no space. So text the word free library to the number 44222. And by doing that, you're gonna get access to these 12 great tools to help you move forward. But also we're gonna be able to stay in touch and I'll be able to educate you via email and I'll send you announcements about different offerings that I will be developing for you that you might be interested in, okay? So have a great day and remember, you got this. Bye.